Yesterday, during the fourth annual Benedicto Chuanuka Memorial Lecture, President Yuri Museveni continued to lash out at the courts of law for constantly releasing people who were suspected to have committed grave offenses such as murder on bail. In no time, we are now being told that bail is a right. Right, really. Somebody has killed a person and you, you, you see him walking here. This is a provocation, I can tell you. This is a provocation. We cannot accept it. Today, the NRM Parliamentary Caucus met with President Yuri Seven, who serves as chairman of the ruling party, to discuss what they termed as issues of national importance on security and granting bail to suspects of capital offenses such as murder, treason and terrorism. According to the government chief with Thomas Taewa, they had a candid discussion with the president but failed to agree. Uh, we had a candid discussion and we agreed with His Excellency the President that indeed, like he said, he's doing consultations. We were very happy as a caucus to see that he started with us in terms of consultations and we agreed that uh, we go back, we do further consultations. Since he has consulted us, we also see a way of consulting some of our opinion leaders in our area and we see how best we can come up with a solution to address the current crisis, which he believes is a provocation. The chief whip also revealed that the party took issue with the way court has been interpreting bail. The interpretations are different. The constitution is very clear. Bail is not a right. But application for bail is a right. So the issue is how the courts are interpreting this. They are, most of them are taking it that bail is indeed a right. So we have to go back and we see how best do we choose it. Do we amend the law? Do we take it for constitutional interpretation? Several members of parliament and members of the opposition, especially from the National Unity Platform, have on several occasions been seen speaking out on the move to scrap bail for capital offenders. General Museveni is trying to sanitize his illegal act. He wants to make it law. He wants to bring back a colonial law. He wants to bring back an oppressive law of 1968, a law that was repealed when they took power in 1986. So you see a full cycle of turning around. Mr. Museveni is trying hard, so much, to remove bail today. But he needs to remember that the bail he's ensuring that he removes today, he might need that bail tomorrow. And there's examples, by the way. General Kale Kaihura was in charge of police. And he always spoke against the 48-hour rule, saying, no, people should be arrested even if it is beyond the 48 hours that are allowed within the law. But time came, Kaihura was no longer IGP, he was arrested. After two weeks of consultations, members of parliament from the NRM will have to return to caucus to give their views on bail and then decide.